This is a toast. So I'll pick, I'll pick this up uh, at the end. <laughs> it feels really good to be here with you, uh, and thank you, John. You talked about the can-do spirit. It's You feel it here tonight. Um, I just want to be honest, it's not always like that. Uh, most people think this is a great idea, but there are a small group of people who think this is a terrible idea. And I just want to talk for one moment. They are a small group, but they are a loud group, and I hear from them often. And I just want to have some fun at their expense. <laughs> they fall loosely into three categories. First, we have the Bronze Statue Brigade, as I like to think about them. And they are horrified that we could be leaving Grosvenor Square after more than 200 years of Little America there. And, you know, we have Ronald Reagan, we've got Ike, we've got FDR, Churchill. How could you? That's basically their argument. The <laughs> next group um, are the political junkies, the political anoraks, as you might put it who are obsessed with the daily ups and downs of this uh, special relationship between our two countries. They are convinced that the only reason we are moving here is to get out of a certain congestion <laughs> tax <laughs> zone. <laughs> Nothing will dissuade them. No talk of regeneration uh, will convince them. Uh, the uh, third and final group I would classify as the special relationship cynics. These folks think that it is a G2 world, US and China. So gee whiz, what are you doing building this massive thing here? Why don't you just go rent a floor, or better yet, just an office on Canary Wharf somewhere? <laughs> Needless to say, I think this small group is wrong. We all here are right to be excited about that. There's a lot of excitement. Huge thanks to the Ballymore team, John, Sean, uh, and that whole team, to Councilman Robbie Govindia, and to you, Mr. Mayor, uh, your enthusiasm is contagious. It is infectious. And that is a really good thing. But when my team at the embassy was looking over my notes of what I wanted to say, they said during this week, when in another part of London a big hole was dug up and other contagions were discovered from hundreds of years ago, maybe you shouldn't talk about things being contagious. But I think you know what I mean. This is a good contagious, and it passes from person to person. And you have passed it to all of us, and I want to applaud you for that. And, you know, here we are. It's right over there. We are going to see it built up over the next three years. We're going to see the beams go up and the walls come up, and it's going to be this big, wonderful cube. It will no doubt get a nickname. And I am well aware that we have little control over what the great people of London end up calling it. But as much as we love to focus and should focus on the future, in closing, I just want to focus on what we can actually see right there, which isn't a fancy building yet. It is a foundation. And I reflect on foundations. And so often we take them for granted because the big building is done. But we have British workers laying American foundations on British land that will technically become American soil. And I love that back and forth, and I think that's a great symbol of our special relationship. And this building is a belief in, really a faith in the friendship. And I applaud that, and I want to toast that tonight. And our move south is not only the literal foundations here, but the new foundations of trust and respect and understanding between the citizens of our two great democracies. And to that, I would like to raise a glass. Cheers. <laughs>